Hey there, welcome to the morning message. Hope you're doing well. It's May uh, May 8th. <laughs> Still in that uh, full moon energy of the Scorpio full moon. I did a reading um, on the Scorpio full moon. Every zodiac is represented. You might want to check that out. Today, I want to say thank you. Thank you to Justine Zott, who sent me this great deck. Um, I am a huge fan of the teaching of teachings of Abraham, uh, Esther and Jerry Hicks. This is the well-being deck. Super happy. Thank you very much, Justine. It was a really nice gift that you just sent me, so I want to make sure that I use it right away. G decks that are given, usually way powerful. Um, so if you like the readings, if you like the energy of this channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit that little button with the subscribe. Please do that. All right, let's see where we go. I'm going to do a little reading with this. I'll use regular tarot cards too. Wow, this is a nice little deck. I pulled it out last night and I shuffled and I did uh, clear it a little bit from the energy of the factory <laughs> from whence it came, right? You kind of have to do that, do a little saging or put it in the window. Uh, the window of the full moon is a very powerful window. Also, putting it, putting your, gemsto your gemstones or your, or your um, crystals in the window on a new moon is super powerful to charge them, okay? The energy is really, really good. And as we are in all these retrogrades that I've been talking about for quite some time now, um, a lot of the growth is internal. So charging your, charging your crystals, charging your decks, clearing your decks, very important, um, especially because you're so connected internally right now as we're going through this Scorpio super moon, big moon of releasing things popping into the daylight. Things popping out when you least expect it. What are the things you need to clear? Those are the things that will come up usually during a super moon, a full moon like the Scorpio one. So this one is the law of attraction is the most powerful universal law and is your friend. <laughs> you create with your every thought. By the universal law of attraction, that which is like unto itself is drawn. You are attracting the essence of whatever you are giving your attention to, wanted or unwanted. Basic, very basic, you know, central lesson of law of attraction. I bless and appreciate every religion. Isn't that interesting? There was some stuff going on this morning about religion versus spirituality. And to me... Just from my own experience, religion has been community. It has been a shared experience. Spirituality to me is internal, your one-to-one -one connection. And you can choose, uh, you don't have to choose between the two. You can do whatever feels normal and natural and correct for you, right? Do whatever you feel is for your highest good, okay? There is something for everyone in this magnificent environment of wide diversity where we as a people can continue to take thought beyond that which it has been before. So there has been a lot of, in the past, um, religion can be used, um, used. Religion can be freeing. It can be constricting. It can be, it depends on who is using it. It depends on who is if it is if it is connected to you in a powerfully empowering way, powerfully empowering, powerfully uplifting, inspirational kind of way, awesome. If you're not finding that experience with religion, spirituality may be the path for you. I certainly feel like that has been my path, um, and I don't have any charged negative feelings around the religion I was raised in, um, except for the fact that. I now feel much more connected. It's just been my own experience, right? I just feel now much more uh, connected. I love the community aspect of religion. I love the, the uh, joyfulness that does come from certain holidays or certain celebrations. Um, I leave the rest. Anything that comes along that isn't for my highest good or isn't in positive, it isn't in positive energy, I just leave it, right? It's, learn the art of sort of watching, so, um, experiencing without taking in, 
right? You can learn from things without absorbing them. And that's a, that's a very important thing if, they, if you feel that it is not in your highest good. It is not my responsibility to convince anyone of anything. <laughs> it's not my responsibility to convince you of anything. Make your decisions about what you want and set out to create the life experiences that you choose and allow all others to do the same, right? Exactly. That's exactly what I've just been talking about with religion. It is allowing other, everyone to experience spirituality in whatever way works for you, okay? If you're here watching tarot, this is something that works for you. This is something that expands your spirituality, expands your uh, connection with the divine. I love this deck. It's a beautiful deck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Justine, that's very sweet. All right, so, ooh, I almost forgot. Don't forget about the live. We do a live on Fridays. Every time, at, every week at noon, we are doing donations for um, food banks, for first responders during the COVID-19. We are very, very appreciative and grateful for everyone who is doing some very difficult work right now and want to show our appreciation. That happens at noon on Fridays. Everything that we take in, I match and we send the following week. So we've done a couple of different things. We've done some food banks. We've done some research around this, this uh, devastating disease. We've done some of that uh, donation. And I feel like this week, I forget what this week is, but tune in at noon to find out. All right, let's see what's going on here for you. Messages that Spirit wants to share. Messages that Spirit wants to share. I see. Oh, boy. Check it out. This is the ultimate. This emperor is about structure. Um, religions can be about structure, can be about creating structure for people that feels good. Um, Queen of Wands. But Aries, Leo, Sag energy here. Feeling inspired. What is making you feel inspired right now? Page of Wands. Oh, check it out. The Hierophant. Ah. Uh, Hierophant and Emperor. Very traditional masculine uh, religion to me is a masculine thing. Three of Pentacles. It's about building building, uh, likely building a new kind of church, building a new kind of faith or kind of connected spirituality for yourself, being inspired to do so. Two of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this has showed up. Did you watch the reading yesterday about, um, <laughs> about what was it for those, for anyone who needs to hear it, this showed up again, it's showing up about inspirational leadership, about inspirational leadership. Wow, we've got all the all of the uh, wands, page, knight, queen, king of all wand, of wands, and so Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, and then Taurus. Um, that showed up in that other reading too. Very interesting. Nine of swords, eight of wands, communication, three of swords. Uh, this is a, this is kind of about getting yourself together. What's happening now, what's coming out now is a, 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 um, a heartache that was deeply suppressed. It could have been a, a, a commitment, former commitment. This is husband and this is um, relationship. Okay, that's commitment, committed relationship, um, building a new kind of relationship here. Remember, building a new kind of church for yourself, a new kind of, of uh, belief system or a new kind of inspirational leadership. In order to do that, there's certain things have to be unearthed. Nine of swords, three of swords. Communication, eight of wands. I feel like that's the universe communicating to you. It seems like you're, it feels like you're, hey, I'm just moving forward. This was no big deal kind of a feeling here. Um, King of wands, queen of wands. Five of wands, queen of swords, hanged man, tower. 
Six of Swords, Four of Wands. Yes, Temperance. The universe is trying to get you together. The universe is trying to bring you together here. Okay? And I feel like right, um, right now this could be a situation where you may be struggling. There may be other people involved. Aries, Leo, uh, not Aries, Leo, Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag is here. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like some of you, uh, Aquarius and Venus, uh, a cold, kind of a cold, detached relationship, um, letting go of old mindsets, Queen of Swords, letting go of what other people believe, Five of Wands, other people sort of vying for your attention. This tower comes through. The tower, com the tower is about clearing out the old heartache, right? This has been, uh, since this heartbreak, there might, you might have been cold, detached, um, not really, um, maybe single for quite a long time. This person's coming in like gangbusters here, okay? Four of Wands, uh, <laughs> what's that? Temperance. Um, this is something you have asked the universe to do, to bring in this relationship that is very passionate and... fiery, connected, inspirational. I feel like this this um, partner that's coming in has had a hard time maybe making decisions. They could have been, um, they could have had some player energy around them. They have not wanted to move into relationship. You guys both have this, okay? <laughs> you guys both have this kind of cool, detached relationship with other people, with other people, but not with the two of you. <laughs> The two of you, this is a passionate coming together. This is a, a union of, of power, okay? Real power. Six of Swords, Four of Wands. Uh, I keep wanting to say strength. That says to me Leo, okay? Uh, but it's temperance. It's Sag energy. So this Leo, I feel like there is a powerful Leo connection here too. Um you may be building your church, building your um, following. You may be somebody people follow, right? You're, you could be uh, somebody who is or is going to be well-known, uh, somebody who other people look to for guidance and um, spiritual the word I want to say spiritual inspiration I guess okay so you're doing this this person comes in it just churns up so much stuff okay I bless and appreciate every religion this person could be a different religion it's not my responsibility to convince anyone of anything you could have uh, some kind of differences as it relates to your spirituality okay you're attracting someone who is maybe questioning their spirituality questioning because the law of attraction here is about attracting like souls, right? Coming together. This could be twin energy. Boy, am I getting like a lot of Kundalini. Woo! Passion, inspiration, fire. I'm feeling it, like viscerally feeling this. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is uh, smoking hot. <laughs> people, people. What's going on here? Oh my goodness. All right, I want more about this Nine of Swords, Three of Swords here. The coolness of this Queen of Swords hanged man thing. This could be a couple things. This could be how you're looking at things. You're looking at things anew, looking at things differently. <laughs> this could be that you're um, open to new perspectives on things that other people may resist, the Five of Wands. This person may be of a different religion. A different religion or background but there's something the soul is alike this is twin energy the soul is alike wow wow holy kamoli okay queen of pentacles king of swords eight of pentacles four of pentacles ace of swords so this is what i said about the soul this is the soul version the Queen of Wands and King of Wands, you may also um, 
be getting clear on the future of the groundedness of this relationship because I feel like that's what needed to happen is some kind of earth energy grounding it and also some kind of vision to be inspirational you have to have vision this is Aquarius energy and this is the Taurus energy of nurturance Taurus again here okay so it it's not it's likely that you both have some real strong air in your chart and willing to look at things differently, um, willing to experience the truth differently, to, to embrace it, to work on it together. Wow, this is very cool, you guys. All right, let's see here. So um, that's amazing. This is a very multifaceted couple. This is likely uh, twin flames coming together after a lot of experience. They're kings, queens. They have done the page, knight, queen, king deal, right? They have stepped up. I see um, threes here. So there can, there might have been, there might have been a heartbreak when this person or you were married. You were married or they were married and you might have known each other then at that point. And there was heartbreak around this, but now that's that's done. The freedom is here, okay? The freedom is here. Let's see. Blocks that need to be overcome. Blocks that need to be overcome. Two of Pentacles. This person is stubbornness. Look at that. Two of Pentacles and the Emperor again. This person or you have some like a very singular focus on things. Death. Transformation of that. This person also might have had a hard time making decisions in the past. That's a clue as to who this person is for you. Okay? That's a clue. Now they're willing to move forward a lot more quickly. They've changed. This person has changed that. If they were very um, stubborn, remember I just said that about the, uh, the emperor? The stubbornness has... <laughs> okay. Lovers. Duh. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Actions and advice for you. Ending of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle, five of pentacles. So this showing you the ending of, we're not even really seeing what came before. All right. I'm not really even seeing a lot of the readings lately have been about the transition, the transformation death card here from one relationship to another. Um, I'm not really even seeing that. I'm seeing the freedom of this connection and that the universe is bringing you together this the um sagittarian energy here is really strong five of pentacles um this is likely to be brought together by hardship okay this might be brought together by hardship um there's um let's see here i want to do this right now while we're talking well hey while we're talking let's do the timing card do 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 this is the uh Doreen Virtue. Yeah, this one. Within the next few weeks. All right. Within the next few weeks, this is showing up. There's going to be some kind of hardship around, right? Nine of Swords, Three of Swords. Not just your particular history, but there's some hardship. Four of Wands. Wow. Empress. Strength. There's a strength card. Eight of Wands. Okay. You guys are overcoming what past hardship had existed look at all the yellow there the bright the sun okay so empress leo energy of strength and then the four of wands lovers and eight of wands moving quickly forward overcoming hardships the hardship may be i i do feel like you guys might be um this is like a power couple emperor empress I feel like it's the emperor, the masculine energy that had sort of, I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I don't, I can't make a decision, right? And that's going to be done. That's going to be done. Overcoming that. How's that? How's that? Chariot, coming forward to you fast. Seven of swords, sneaking away. High Priestess, Secrets, 
Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Um, this person may be sneaking away from another relationship that um, ended badly. For some of you, they're, they're moving away from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And that relationship ended badly. It ended, though. It's not still going on. Um, for others of you, this person could have snuck away from you, and that's what created the Nine of Swords, Three of Swords here. They're moving away from a negative situation to come toward you. Whatever is in their rearview mirror or something that was uh, done, over with, and not, not good, okay? Messages to you from your higher self. Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Sun, Leo, more Leo, okay, more Leo. I feel like when this person shows up, it is going to be, you're going to be like, yep, I manifested that, Three of Cups, here they are, and then there might be some kind of this, all right, some kind of they're definitely coming toward you, but let's see. Why is the Four of Cups here? The resistance. And you're going to recognize that. You're going to be like, oh, my God. Ace of Pentacles. It's short-lived. It's short-lived. I feel like you're going to have... The, the resistance here is about the need to communicate about the worries and the heartache. Okay? If this was between the two of you, and I feel like... It likely was, um, for those of you who know this person, when they show up, um, there's going to be a need to talk it through, okay? Because there was no talkie, there was no talkie back then when it, when it disappeared, when this relationship ended. There was not a lot of communication. And I almost feel like you didn't really know what to say, or you really didn't have a full awareness of what was going on before, but now... I think things coming out into the light of day, all of these scorpionic energies of uh, things popping into the light. Here's the light. This person is going to be really clear about their feelings. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, that's what happened then. Four of Swords, Healing, Magician, Tower, Ten of Wands. Devil energy, oh my goodness, moon, boy, oh, wow, all of this, oof. Okay, so hold on to your hat. <laughs> this is going to be, for right now, a, a walking through of all of the hurts and the sadness and the pain of your previous relationships. For some of you, if this is a twin flame coming together, there's going to need to be, there's passion, there's all of this stuff, but then it's like all oh, getting dredged up to be able to purge it. Over the next couple of weeks, because we're in the Scorpionic full moon right now, this is likely to show up and the purging is just loud here. Look at this. Um, tower, oh my God. I don't know if I can even hold all these in my hand so you can see them. Tower, Ten of Wands, Devil Energy, Moon. Purging. Purge, purge, purge. Purging this old stuff. Six of Swords. Moving forward. Um, this relationship, now it's more, it seems louder to me that this relationship, if you know who this is, even if you don't, even if they're past life, Whatever it was, this relationship ended with some pain. The previous go-round ended with some pain. And there's going to be a need to sort of walk through that all again because of the need to heal. Got to heal these old things. You got to heal the wounds of this relationship. You've got to heal um, so that you can move forward. You're much more powerful and strong now than you were the than you were when it ended before. So Empress and Strength there, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of um, positive things to know. 
bringing the stuff out into the light is how this relationship will grow. If it keeps being in the dark, it can't be in the dark anymore. There can hurt, pain, uh, betrayal, jealousy, anger, all of it. Every single, you know, the seven deadly sins. Okay. So I'm not sure really what the religion part has to do with it other than belief systems are likely what has generated a fair amount of pain. Okay. Um, some kind of belief system. This person could have let go of this relationship in favor of something that other people told them to do or that they were uh, a little confused about your spirituality. That was something that they messed up. They made a mistake. Okay. They messed up. They're going to have to apologize for that or they're going to have to fess up to that. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo again, Hierophant again, Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, very spiritual numbers there. Page of Cups, there's the Apology card, Page of Swords coming through a text, Queen of Cups. Um, likely to share their feelings, likely to apologize. The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, uh, they put a lot of energy and effort into... Um, thinking about what to do next with you. There's a long period of time here where you guys were separated or you were in, uh, in separation because they were unclear as to how to restart this, mostly because they really screwed up. They really screwed up royally. Hanged Man, Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups. They didn't want to see, by Memorial Day, okay, likely by Memorial Day, they didn't want to see what they did. And their family or their belief system, their whatever belief system they're in, supported what they did before. So if there was a third party situation, um, they likely blamed it on you or something like that for their own, you know, for their own peace of mind. But now it's all coming up like, it's not really, it's not really your fault at all, okay? They might have blamed it on you and um, now are embracing more of the truth that this was a situation where their belief system were clashing with what they wanted for their life and they opted for um, a, a belief system that was about, for them, was about keeping them where they were, which was an unhappy place. Okay. It was an unhappy place. So now what they're doing is they're seeing things differently. They're look, taking a new perspective, a new perspective on what's been going on for them. They're looking internally to see what's going on and it's the belief system of their family. Okay. The belief system of their family, three of cups. Uh, it was likely a little bit like, well, you're the, you're the, you're the one to blame because of this third party situation. Don't get mad. I'm just saying that this is a giant rationalization on their part. In order for them to stay where they were, they had to make some kind of big rationalization. Like, well, it really wasn't about love. Well, it was, you know, this other person's fault. Well, all of these things. It's all BS. It's all BS. Okay. They know now these things are coming to light for them that, they were like, oh, I stayed in a situation that was not of my highest and best good. I didn't, you know, they've been holding on and trying to resist moving towards you so strongly because the law of attraction, you're really, the souls are, you know, very strongly connected, attached to each other, wanting to move together. They've been resisting very hard and so much so that they might have, you know, resisted any kind of abundance in their life you know, their life might have fallen apart completely, um, have tower moments, death moment, you know, dark night of the soul, whatever it is. And now the next step, the next most obvious step is they got to work through all of this with you. They can't just do it remotely anymore. They can't just do it in their own, you know, sort of time and in their own sort of mind and without any interaction without any 3D interaction, because to move from 3D into 5D, from unconscious living into conscious living, they're going to have to walk through this portal. And that's what the Ace of Pentacles is here. 
the portal. They have to walk through it in order to get to the happiness and joy that they seek. They're going to have to walk through this landmine with you. Yes, indeed. Whoops. Uh-oh. Nine of Swords just jumped out. Okay. Yes. And that's what's happening with them right now. Very um, internal. Very quiet. Very self-absorbed, um, maybe even. They're going to take an action to come toward you, and it's going to be a big deal. And then you're going to have to roll through all of this stuff together. Okay? Because that's what needs to happen. There needs to be an atonement. Right? Let's go back to religion. The day of atonement. The day of making amends. Right? Um, this is when we, you know, when we um, show our humanity and realize our humanity um, because we've succumbed to some of these, you know, um, jealousy, anger, um, fear. Those are all really fear-based things. Greed. All of it is fear-based. Okay? And so now, for you, in the next few weeks, I feel like this might happen, this is likely to happen, um, before the next holiday. I've gotten three of cups a bunch of times, so that's a guideline for you. Um, Magician, Judgment, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, Knight of Wands, right, okay, Devil Energy, Star. So this is what's going on. You may, I feel like moving, going along, doing just fine. This person shows up. There's this Ten of Swords kind of experience about the ending of one thing, the beginning of a new thing. Um, this you're, this person is also experiencing this, that they're getting downloads. Now that they're more powerful, for some reason they've grown. They've come out of something. They've grown. And they're getting more downloads. And it's, boy, is it like, a, oh, what did I do? What did I do? Why did I do all that with this person? Why did I make those mistakes? Four of Swords. Not, at once, so once they get it, once they hear it in their minds, in their bodies, in their in their soul, in the energy of who they are. Once they get it, once they are awakened, this is an awakening for them. Once they're awakened to what they've done in the past, they're going to spend some time in a healing space, right? A couple of days, weekend, something like that. And then going to face this, right? Going to face this devil energy and the star energy after that healing. Okay, healing and a coming together. So this person is likely to show up after having an awakening experience. They never would have otherwise. They never would have. Because they've been they've created the storyline in their head about what it was about. And they were getting off scot-free in a way. In their own narrative. God is in charge. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation, guarded and protected. Lean on God and the angels for support. So it's a lot of, this is a lot of um, divine intervention, bringing this person back to you. There's, this is uh, some real, um, and that is also something that might go against their religious experience, that they don't believe in twin flame. They don't believe in, you know, and I always say, I'm like, well, okay, that's fine. You can believe what you want to believe, but, you know, um, it's not a thing. It, it, you know, gravity doesn't care. God doesn't care if you don't believe in him. God doesn't care. Like, yeah, whatever. Do what you want. This is your, yeah. I gave you, I gave you free will, all that stuff. I doesn't care if you believe him or not. That exists. That energy exists. However, whatever format, whatever belief system that you have, right? As long as it's for your highest and best good, God bless, right? So the previous incarnation of this relationship was unhealthy. That's what you need to know. It was unhealthy. And now all of the unhealthiness needs to be purged so that it has a chance to be a healthy relationship. All of it needs to be purged. 
retreat, playfulness, past life relationship, stay optimistic. So through this, it's going, I feel like this is, might be a little bit difficult for both of you. I do. And you might want to run away from this. You might not want to go into this deep place. But, but trust me, the scorpionic energy is like, <laughs> you know, man plans and God laughs, right? So just know this is on the docket. This is an awakening that you will likely be included in. Uh, I don't believe it's you awakening. I think you're already there. I think this is the, the other twin. It does feel to me like a twin flame connection here. Okay, guys. See you at noon.